Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the blower motor in this uh, 99 Chevy Venture. Same as most 98 to 05 uh, Venture Montana silhouette, the GM minivans. Tools you'll need are a 732 socket um, with uh, extension and ratchet or a driver handle, uh, and maybe a pair of pliers as well. Okay, you want to start on the passenger side underneath, and you want to pull out three pins here, here, and here. We'll try and grab as close to the pins as you can. And then push down. Okay. Sometimes the pin won't come, so you just use a pair of pliers. this hang down. If you like you can take your wire and just kind of this just goes through and pushes up in and you just push it down and bring it through. And you can see your um, blower right there. Oh. And there's three screws, you can see two of them, and then the last one is over on the other side. And then your lead. If you reach around like I am with my hand, what I'm doing is, uh, it's hard to, can't video it, but there's a tab on the back side, and you push the tab in towards the middle of the motor, and then there's your lead right there. It comes down and out. Okay, so I'm going to remove the three bolts that hold the motor. Probably easiest to get to the back one with a socket and ratchet. And then the front two, easy enough with just a socket driver. And they are 732s. Um, the size of the head is 732s, it's a standard size. Those three bolts loosened. And the motor basically wants to drop right out. There's a tube on the back here that you want to pull off. Bring it right down. So here's my original motor. New motor from Money Auto. A couple slight differences. Um, where the uh, lead plugs in is just a little bit different. Uh, and then this has a, the holes in a different spot, so it has a longer tube on it. Nothing that's going to affect how it fits. It's going to bolt in there just fine. Uh, you can see it's the same three bolt holes. Before we put this up in here, what we're going to take take this lead and just kind of stick it underneath that wire so it doesn't get in the way. Okay. And then put it up in. Just push it. Okay. Start to uh, put this bolt up through. Start it in. Bolt up through, start it. Okay. Reach all the way back here. Start our last one. Okay, and we'll just fast forward through uh, tightening those bolts up. You want to tighten them up firm, um, but don't go too crazy because you can strip the plastic uh, and then they don't do any good at all. So just tighten them up uh, nice and firm, but not too tight. And 
And then this tube, if you feel back in here, there's a little spout that it pushes onto. Okay, and then here's our uh, lead. You need to turn it so that the tab is on the bottom. And then it connects. Okay, and a quick test. Take this and kind of put that up in there. Okay, our courtesy light. Put it down through. Push it up and through. Okay, and then this just kind of pushes up in there. This looks like this should be clipped on somewhere. up in push that pin up and in and then our third pin over here we hope this helps you out Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.